Yeah, yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Go ahead, boy. I feel boy. it. I feel it. I feel it. Coming in, coming in. Go. Walking on my with their bait. He wanna say what I did. That boy need a cake. Clean up the cash with a rake. My girl a freaky. She tough with her tongue like a snake. Wonder how long it's gonna take. I dunk on the beat like LeBron. Jumping. October. Welcome back to Keeping Up With Valley Sports, our first episode of October. My name is Gio Presto. And my name is Ryan Zuda. Let's take a look at where the past month has brought us all here for sports. The boys beat Passaic Valley 30-21 to on Friday. This is their third straight win. The boys are now 3-4 and four on the season. They have a good chance to turn their season around and end 500 after starting out 0-4. Our boys soccer team was very successful in the month of September. Losing only three games, Valley stands at a 6-3 and three record. They started their county's run last week in a huge 2-0 win over Hawthorne. Senior Don Valenzuela leads the team with seven goals and five assists, the most in both categories on the team. Dom scored his seventh goal in the quarterfinal round of counties when Valley defeated Lakeland 3-0 and advanced to the semifinals against PCTI on Saturday. Who's your favorite teammate, Gio? I would have to probably say Pio. Let's see if everyone else agrees with you. Uh, so who am I here with? Dominic Valenzuela. And what sport do you play? Uh, soccer. And who's your favorite teammate? It has to be this guy right here, Gio Presto, the man. I'm so flattered, but if you could pick someone else, unfortunately. Um, what? All right, uh, Dayon. Dayon, definitely, yeah. All right, thank you. All right, so who am I here with? Dayon. And what sport do you play? I play soccer. And um, who's your favorite teammate? I'd say Caden Flower. Thank not you. Presto. Thank not, you. Not Gio Presto. Thank you. Not, not Gio. He just stormed to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> not my favorite team. <laughs> All right, who am I here with? Uh, Justin. What sport do you play? Football. Who's your favorite teammate? Uh, I'd say Tony Galfaro. All right, thank you. That's, that's it. Yep. All right, who am I here with? Tony. All right, what sport do you play? Football. All right, who is your favorite teammate? Corey Neath, 100%. How do you feel that Justin Mondeson said you were his favorite teammate? I feel, I feel good about that. Do you? Yeah. I All like right. Justin. Thank you, Tony. No problem. All right, who am I here with? Rylan. And what sport do you play? Soccer. And who's your favorite teammate? Mackenzie McGregor. Here. All right, who am I here with? <laughs> Mackenzie. All right, what sport do you play? Soccer. All right, who's your favorite teammate? Um, oh, can I, wait. Not. Hurry up. I need to think. Hurry up. Um. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Give me a second. Hurry up. Um. Not Megan. Um. Gabby Hammer. Gabby Hammer. Gabby Hammer. All right. Thank you. That. Yeah. You're welcome. The girls' soccer team also went six and three in September and are undefeated in their division. On Saturday, they beat Lakeland in the first round of the counties tournament. They now advance to play Hawthorne on Saturday in the semifinal round of counties. The girls are led in goals by Alyssa Wasicki, Sabrina King, and Gabby Hammer, who all have three on the season. We wish them luck in their upcoming game. The girls' volleyball team went 9-3 and three in September with their most recent win coming in the quarterfinals game against DePaul. The girls are led by Valentina Palin with 85 kills, Riley Crank with 10 blocks, Reese Antonio with 136 digs, and Olivia Isaacson with 173 assists. Good luck to the girls in their next county game against West Milford. Field hockey ended September with a 4-5 and five record, and unfortunately losing to Wayne Hills in the first round of counties 2-0. Senior Megan Tomback leads the team in goals with seven. And junior Sarah Vistano leads the team in assists with five. Good luck in October, field hockey. The girls' tennis team is now on a five-game win streak with their most recent win from Roxbury. They are now 4-2 and two on the season. Hopefully they can continue their streak. That's all from us. We'll see you next week for the second episode of Valley Sports in October.